2009 on a 59 Mini Cooper S. This is the cabin edition. I believe they only made 50 of these cars. They've been a special edition. They've got different coloured paint, different wheels, and a different interior. 1.6 petrol turbo, this one. It has got a misfire on the engine. I will repeat myself that it has got a misfire on the engine. It does start, we will get it started off for you for a brief minute there at the end of the video, but please be warned that it has got a misfire on the engine. Right, body weight wise, we'll start off across the top of the bonnet, all nice and straight, and that silver pearlescent patent as you come down the wing top. There's a few bits of wear to these decals, which only the cabin's got. Headlights nice and clear on the right hand side. Across the front end of the bonnet, there's a few little stone chips here and there, and you have a little fly mark, but nothing really you will be about. Onto the left hand side headlight, onto a little bit of a polish at the top half there, but apart from that, all crack free. And again, there is some wear to the decals on the left hand side wing top, and a few little marks in the paint there on the left hand side of the bonnet. As you work your way down the front bumper, nice and tidy across the front bumper, the plastic arches and that lower valance, all in good condition there. Wants a good old polish this one in places, but again, all scuff free across that front bonnet, bumper there. A few little stone chips to worry about. That's about all. As you come round the arches, they're all nice and straight and tidy. No scuffs to the plastic arches. Whether it be a cabin that came with these different alloy wheels. As you can see, as you get round it, you've got loads of little bits of stickers to remind you what you're driving. Nice and tidy on that little air, air section there. We're going to jump up onto the roof now so we can have a good look at that. All nice and straight, a little bit of wear to the seal across the front edge, but no rust, dings or major dents at all on the roof itself, which is white. A few little bird poo marks here and there, but that is all to worry about on the roof. Down the driver's door, lovely and straight down the right hand side. Across that lower half, all the plastic section's good. Granted, it's a little bit grey in places, but it's not scuffed or scraped. Across the rest of the door, lovely and tidy around the handle. No big dings or part and dents on the driver's door. All the chrome trim around the windows, nice and tidy. As we come across that rear quarter on the right hand side again, lovely and straight. A few little marks in the paintwork on the top there, a little scratch, but apart from that, very, very presentable. Have a look at that wheel as well. It doesn't seem to be curved anywhere that I can see. Again, plastic arch on the rear right arch, nice and tidy, no scrapes on that. As you work your way across the back end, all nice and tidy as we come up the bumper. Again, lovely and straight. Across the top of the bumper. All nice and tidy across there. And as we go across the rear boot again, lovely and straight across the rear boot. No problems with that at all. All nice and tidy. Right lenses are lovely and clear on both sides on the rear and that chrome handle. Again, nice and tidy. No major scratching across the top of the bumper where stuff's been put in the boot either. Window itself looks to be all nice and straight. Little spoiler as well with a bit of Cooper S. As we come down the left hand rear again, have a look at the wheel. A little bit of a mark on this wheel here. And again, plastic arch, nice and tidy. A little bit of a mark on the plastic arch there. Around the fuel cap, lovely and straight, no major scratching at all around the fuel cap. The rest of that quarter again, nice and level and straight down the left hand side. Across the top of the door, passenger front door there again, lovely and tidy. Lower half, there's a few little stone chips down the lower half. But again, nothing to worry about around the handle, all nice and shiny still. Nice and presentable around there. As we come onto the left hand front, again, the wheel's nice and tidy. So apart from that one on the back, all the wheels seem to be all right. A little bit of scuff on that rear left hand wheel. Again, plastic arch is nice and straight and nice and tidy across the top. As we come round onto the driver's front door, all nice and straight and tidy across the driver's front door. Wants well, a good clean in here with a bit of Camden, different interior at all there. A little bit of wear to the driver's bolster, but no rips or tears. And it does want to go clean in there. The insert swab again, nice and straight. Carpet again, you've got black carpet set. Once a bit of a clean, but all nice and presentable. Mini 50 counting on the doors there. Across the top of the dashboard, no cracks or wear. Got this lovely dashboard in there with a pinstripe lines, nice and tidy. All the dials are lovely and clear and easy to read. Six speed manual gearbox, this one. Nice and straight in there. Into the back now. Lift the seat forward. Again, rear seats are a lot 
cleaner in the back, nice and tidy in the rear seats, no rips or tears. Black headlining's lovely and clean as well. Into the boot now. Nice and tidy across the boot. No real issues with that in there. I will lift the boot carpet up. You'll see you've got a little tool kit in there. All nice and tidy. Parcel shelf's still there as well. Into the passenger front door card now. Again, nice and straight. No real wear across the top of the door. Handle there, nice and tidy on the plastics. A few little marks on the plastics. Again, the seat itself, what a nice clean, but no rips or tears. With it being a cabinet, it's a different interior. All nice and straight, far from being a bit grubby, no rips or tears to the passenger side. Nice and straight across the dashboard from the left-hand side as well. Into the engine bay now. Like I say, it has got a misfire this car. We don't know what's wrong with it. The vendor has put it to us and said, I'm not sure what's going on, but it's got a misfire, so please bear that in mind. Toby's going to start it up for us here. We'll run it for a couple of seconds. We don't want to cause any more damage. You've got to put your foot in the clutch. You can hear that misfire there. I'm going to get a quick stop there. As far as we want to run it for. And there you have it. The 2009 on the 59 Mini Cooper S Camden Edition.